keep praying. Lord, we thank you. Shibarato supra da garabalaba. Zakate poro supra da Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter 10. We're still praying. Tonight we are trusting God for an encounter with the mantle of favor. The mantle of favor. First Samuel chapter 10. Media, can you help us? And Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Verse 2. When thou art departed from me, you will find two men by Rachel's sepulcher in the border of Benjamin at Zelzah. And they will say unto you, a restoration has come into your life. He said, the asses which thou went seeking, somebody else took it and took it back home. He said, you were looking for something. You tried every skill, but God has instructed someone to take that donkey back home. Not to take it and look for you. To take it back to where it was supposed to be. Number one. Number two. It says. Okay, can, can we go to um, verse three. Then thou shalt go forward. And thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor. And there you shall meet three men. Going up to God in Bethel, the place of abundance. He said, one carrying three kids, another carrying three loaves of bread, another carrying a bottle of wine. You will meet influential people. He says, something by reason of an anointing, you will encounter people carrying strange resources. He said, when they see you, listen, verse 4, please. Help us, media. They will salute you. And they will give you two loaves of bread. He said, which thou shalt receive. They are on their way going. But an anointing compels you. Listen. Favor is a dangerous mystery. When men look at you, that anointing makes them behave to you in a certain way. It's not like they plan doing it. Hallelujah. There was an anointing upon Esther. And the Bible says she found favor in the eyes of everyone who looked at her. The moment they make contact with you, a reaction happens in the spirit. Hallelujah. A little boy leaves his father's house in desperation and returns with an anointing that brings uncommon results. We are going to pray. Lord, any man that sees my face, let that anointing be activated. Lift your voice and pray. Any man that sees my face, let that anointing for favor speak. Any helper, any man of influence, their contact with my face will command favor. Are you praying? Any man that sees my face, I activate that mystery on contact with me. Access to strange resources, access to the heart of kings, access to the heart of nobles, access to the heart of men of influence. By this mantle of favor. By this mantle of favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
the bible says from the day potiphar set his eyes on joseph something happened to potiphar and he could not victimize that boy again he was sold as a slave a slave is a property but he found favor let me tell you something about favor when the favor of god is upon you a man does not need to know you to bless you pharaoh hated israel but he instructed a release of abundance in one night the bible says the israelites spoiled the egyptians it was like a charm because after they left he now recovered and said what did i do chase them and take it back abimelech blessed abraham with abundance a man who had lied to him it warranted punishment But the Bible says Abimelech blessed Abraham. Blessed Abraham. Genesis 26. We we'll read from verse 14. Or from verse 12. Let's start from 12. Down to 16. Four verses. Genesis. Genesis 26. And Isaac sowed in that land. And received in that same year an hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. 13. And the man works great. And went forward. And grew until he became very great. Verse 4. For he had possessions of flock. And possessions of herd. And great store of servants. And the Philistines envied him. Verse 15. For all the wells which his father's servant had digged in the days of Abraham his father, the Philistines had stopped them and filled them with earth. 16. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. I like it to say, Lord, begin to exalt me by your mantle of favor. Go ahead and pray, lift your voice. Thou art mightier, not by skill. Thou art mightier, not by age. We see that there is a mystery upon your life. Lift your voice and pray. He said, go from us. Go away from this region. Make sure you are praying. Shekete barada balada balada bos. Sekete. Ma porotos kopria. Ela prates karepo zabanigari. Ela pros kopro soprekes. Rakata balada bas. Lord, you begin to exalt me by your favor, by this mantle of favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Revelations 5.12 Revelations 5.12 Let's have the communion. We are taking the blood tonight. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the lamb that was slain. That blood he shed gave him access to power. We cried for it yesterday. The second dimension is riches. There is a way God can favor a man and bring wealth and riches. The Bible says, blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. He said, the generation of the upright shall be mighty. He said, wealth and riches shall be in his house. Not be around, be in his house. He says, your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Your gates shall swing open and you will receive the forces of the Gentiles. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I open the gates of my destiny to favor all kinds of people, strangers, strangers. Lift your voice. Please pray. Please pray. Outside, make sure you are praying. Lord, I open the gates of my destiny. Strangers, your blood has given me access to riches to wealth I open up the gates 
I open up the gates in the name of Jesus. I open up the gates. Pray. He's working in me. He's working in me. God's ability. God's ability is working in me, is working in me. God's ability, it is God's ability, is working in me, is working in me. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. Is working in me. Hallelujah. Leviticus chapter twenty six, verse nine. Can we have the communion, please? Leviticus 26 verse 9 I'd like us to read it Can we have New King James? Is that possible or Amplified? Anyone please Amplified or New King James Hallelujah Start from verse 9 You're on verse 10 Go ahead and read. One, two, read. He said, for I will be leaning towards you with favor. I will regard you. As a result of that, I will begin. I will make you not you will try to do it me i have chosen to make you fruitful it says i will make you fruitful i will multiply you i will establish you verse 10 it says and you shall eat the abundance of the old store there was something meant for you that you have not touched i will go back to revisit things that you are supposed to enjoy it says you shall eat the abundance of the old store of produce long kept there are blessings that have been kept but by witchcraft and manipulations you've not had access to it he said they are still there although you have not seen them they are still there and he said you will eat them he called them an old store and then he says long kept he said and clear out the old to do what to make room for the new in other words what you will begin to enjoy is a restoration first i need you to empty the storehouse to make room for what i'm about to do lift your voice and say lord by favor i receive restoration by favor you will eat of the old store you will eat of the old store shake I 
Alleluia. Alleluia. We are going to pray. He said, even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not. He says, and whatsoever Adam called it, that was his name thereof. I'd like you to begin to call things in your life. Listen, there are things that have mocked God in our lives. I'd like you to insist. God has already told you, there's no such thing as losses. They are still in the realm of the spirit. Call them by their names and say, appear in my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Pray. Shake it, Abara. Call forth fortunes. Call forth opportunities. In the name of the Lord Jesus, call them to appear by the mantle of favor. Call them to appear. 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 Leko toko soto kote. Rekete brash kamari anabalada. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We, we just got word that it's like there's a little hitch with the communion. So it's possible we may not be able to take it. We really apologize, but we're still going to pray. Hallelujah. We're still going to pray. Listen. A man's life will be a repeated cycle of hardship. I believe in principles. I have taught you principles. We have taught principles of financial dominion. We have, we have taught all sorts of principles. I believe in that. But I have also seen how God can veto laws and step into a man's life and do remarkable things. Are we together? Job 42, verse 10. Job 42, verse 10. Life is more than science. I believe in principles. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And also the Lord gave Job. Who gave him? Where did he get it from? A man can get a thing from God. He said, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had. How did that happen? I will tell you how it happened. God did not leave us in the dark. He didn't fall from heaven. Next verse. Then came unto him all his brethren. That was the first sign. When favor is upon your life, strange men start coming. Never trivialize the appearance of men. The Bible says, he that told, they, they dejected him. Everybody left him. But now they started returning. And the Bible says, and all his sisters, and all they that had been his acquaintance before. Before. The ministry of men brought favor to Job. Something happened and the men left and the favor went with them. Men are custodians of favor. And the Bible says, and he did eat bread. They did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. And what happened? Every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold how many of them every it was like a roll call you were my friend before and you left me where are you bring your money favor i'd like you to pray and say lord every destiny helper that has left my life before they must appear with their blessings lift your voice and cry 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 everyone the acquaintances that left him before. They left him before. Shekete kete. Rekoto koto baba. Rapari kete. In the name of Jesus. We call help us. We call help us.
Call them forth. Call them forth. Call them forth. Call them forth. Hallelujah. 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 I like us to pray. The Bible says all that happened to Job when he prayed for his friends. Praise the Lord. Pair yourselves into two. I like you to hold the hand of somebody. We are going to provoke a divine mystery. He prayed for his friend. Please, I'd like you to pray. Whether you are holding your friend, your brother, your classmate, leave the issue of relationship now. I'd like you to prophesy and say, I restore by the power mandated upon my life. I call forth favor upon your life. Pray. Oh, you have an anointing. Pray. Pray. Release miracles in the life stand upon your priestly position pray oh i'm mandated to bless you my brother i prophesy to you my sister i end your misfortune i end your misfortune by the anointing of the holy ghost a mantle is upon me and i speak to you I speak to you favor 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 upon you favor upon you it must speak it must speak I give it a voice favor
I speak upon your life, hallelujah, before I speak upon your life, I want to pray for you. Please, everybody pray. I want you to stand, if you can take off your shoes and stand upon the ground. The earth is a universal point of contact. Everything alive makes contact with the earth. Everything alive. Every destiny helper you meet is at this point touching this ground just like you. And we are going to pray. The, pro the prophet said, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. There is a mystery of the earth. I like you to pray and say as I walk upon this ground, wherever my helper is, I call you by prophecy. Come into my life. Go ahead and pray. Pray, 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 please. We are not playing. Wherever they are, I use the earth as a token. I use the earth as a token of prophecy. I use the earth as a token. Mark apparatus. Oh earth, hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you. Locate my helper. Locate my helper. Financial helpers. Ministry helpers. Business helpers. Oh earth, I make a contact with you. Pray. Scabaroto supregede, engrabatoko roko supregede. Parianda kareto skobash, rapato sopregede, rakoto skoprende gede bosh, tera rabo sona na Maria rarare. hallelujah hallelujah please remain we are still praying give us job chapter 5 i want to show you a mystery job 5 22 and 23 our earth is surrounded by mysteries those who understand this will know how to reign in life job 5 22 and 23 please media are you there And destruction and famine at destruction and famine thou shall laugh I will tell you why listen neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth verse 23 for thou shall be in covenant with the stones of the field listen he said and the beast of the field shall be at peace with you there is a mystery here he says I will put you in covenant with this earth and instruct that everywhere the earth sees you it must make everything on it favor you i show you a mystery listen listen to what i'm teaching you it says you will be in league you know what it means to be in league covenant everything upon it when it sees you it tells the animals and every hostility be at peace this man is in covenant with us i'd like you to pray and say oh earth hear the word of the lord I have a covenant of peace every business upon the ground every helper upon the ground be at peace with me be at peace with my destiny pray pray you shall be at peace in league with the stones of the field money will not run away from you money was made from the earth it has a spirit pray there is a covenant of my destiny and the earth 
I speak to you by the authority of the Lord Jesus. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. Thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field. Thou shalt be in covenant. I speak to you. Speak to the earth. Speak to it. It has an ear. I speak to you. Every resource within you, around you, upon you, answer to me. Every resource within you, around you, answer to my destiny. Everywhere you see me, answer to me in the wilderness, in the plain, on land. Every hostility that happens upon the earth shall not be my portion. No accident. No terrorism. No lack. I'm in league with the stones of the field. No longer will resources run away from me. They come to me in abundance. hallelujah hallelujah listen there are five elements that become conduits for the expression of the supernatural five elements by the way don't you think that what we have done or what we are doing is some sort of demonic thing no hosea chapter 12 said i have spoken to you by the prophet i have used similitudes i have used tokens representations to communicate my intent i have used tokens similitudes to speak to you they understood this mystery that was why every time god did, did a thing they would raise an altar and be at peace with the earth and raise an altar and say this altar even when we leave this city make sure you speak for us we were supposed to kill certain people, but we spared them. And so we raised an altar there and we ate bread there so that any man that dare touches us, the altar will speak. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My secret place is calling you take my praise oh god take my praise hallelujah when the lord was showing me this mystery i've shared it with you there was a year this is not something you just do foolishly I started trekking from the roundabout of Chiki Republic to aviation. The Lord made me do so. And I was just walking on the ground and praying in tongues like a fool. I didn't know I was entering a covenant. Every principality in this city knows. I told you there is a spirit in this city that makes things old. The lifespan of impact in this city is three years. After three years, there is a force that draws your life back to nonsense. There are great men that have written, risen from this city, but they do not know the art of war in the spirit. And when I walked upon that, I was tired, I was hungry, but I was speaking. The Bible says, everywhere the sole of your feet, not the desire of your heart, everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon. What did he say? He said, I give you. That means you define the limit of your territory. I'd like you to pray. And say, I'm standing upon the earth. The same way the ground is not upon me. Hardship, return to where you belong. You are under my feet. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. I'm standing upon the earth. Hardship cannot be upon me. I'm standing upon the earth. It's a sign of dominion. It's a sign of power. It's a sign of sovereign control. I command situations. 
I command circumstances come back under my feet come back under my feet come back under my feet everything above me mocking God in my life mocking God in my destiny mocking God in my life mocking God in my destiny you come under my feet you come under my feet you come under my feet hallelujah hallelujah I was sharing with the school of ministry students this morning a very humorous experience that happened to me somebody called me at the beginning of this fast and he said apostle the Lord instructed me I'm a professional tailor and the Lord instructed me that from today I shall handle all your clothes and begin to sew your clothes for you I want to come and collect your measurement and all I need to do is to sew your clothes the Bible says strangers shall feed your flock if you don't don't you think it's happening just because we are men of God this ministry we have seen strange I, I will not even begin to give you the testimony because it will make some of you angry the finger of God the strange manifestation of the favor and the wisdom there is such a thing called the mantle of favor a man can have it there is such a thing called the mantle of favor there are unbelievers they are not born again but they are some of the biggest financiers of some of the ministries that you see around the biggest financiers and they will say God said this I was sharing with somebody of a lady he started with one but there are three of them they, are, they believe their assignment in my life is to send me 5,000 Naira recharge card every month as a covenant. Hallelujah. There are people who do me transfers to my account every month of their life as a covenant between them and God. God is my witness. I don't know some of them. I don't even know how they got my account. Some will tell me I had a dream. Some will say, I did this. Brothers and sisters, if you think you must know somebody to bless you, you are joking. Get set to die poor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mm. Wisdom, strategies. The Bible says, and Uzziah, it says, Uzziah became strong because he was marvelously helped of the Lord. We are going to pray and say, Lord, help me. Listen, when God helps a man, your story must change. I like be humble and say, Lord, I've done my best. Help me. Lift your voice and pray. Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped. I pray. Lord, help me. You yourself be my helper. Pray. 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 Soka para tu shotos. lekota. Are we praying, please? Help me. Ebenezer, the helper of Zion. Ebenezer. He said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, hallelujah hallelujah please if you can lift your hands as I speak over your life I want you to believe it there is such a thing as a mantle of favor not the gift of favor the mantle of favor in the name that is above all names the resurrected Christ he said worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive for us riches I pray for you every cause of misfortune upon your life today we bury it forever in the name of Jesus we bury it forever in the name of Jesus every signature of hardship every signature 
of misfortune in your life in this year in the name of jesus i bring it to an end i bring it to an end the bible says hey guy the one who dressed the virgins of the king gave esther a certain kind of ointment and she kept rubbing it for one year when she stood before the king he desired her i pray for you by this mantle let any man who sees you desire to bless you desire to help you desire to bless you hallelujah i pray for everything dying in your hand the bible says they are taking for a prey and none say it restore i stand upon this anointing in the name of jesus like jesus called lazarus from the grave every misfortune every dying business every dying career every dying idea jack back to life this night in the name of jesus jack back to life please help that brother help that brother jack back to life in the name of jesus jack back to life in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray for you that grace that makes men accomplish so much in such a short time in the name of the resurrected christ i'm praying for you beginning from today let that favor cause speed in your life let that favor bring speed to your life speed to your life speed to your life speed to your life listen from today i'd like you to walk conscious of the fact that the mantle of favor is upon me as you move around know it don't don't just be emotional this night i walk all the time knowing that there is favor upon my life i expect people to bless me anywhere anywhere at the airport bus station anywhere i expect it because it's not about the people it's about what is on me lay your hands on your head say father today i receive this mantle of favor mantle of favor i command you begin to speak speak to the north speak to the south speak to the east speak to the west in the name of jesus i command you attract to my life people attract to my life opportunities attract to my life resources in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm praying for you my god like a cloak let it come upon your people that mantle of favor some of you beginning from this night as you leave it's like a mark upon you you will find people favoring you everywhere and anyone who is connected to this grace those online businesses let me pray specifically for businesses i pray for businesses in the name of jesus every business every investment any financial platform hear the word of the lord we superimpose your weakness by the favor of the lord in the name of jesus i speak to every job in this place every career that has refused to move forward we force it to move forward we force it to move forward anything that must enter your hand between today and friday we prophesy it must enter your hand it must enter your hand thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting 
Thank you for lifting Thank you for my hand. Thank you for lifting. 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 My hand. Hallelujah. Please. Just a few announcements and we're out. Please sit down and write. I want to give you the focus. My phone, please. Hallelujah. The prophetic focus for tomorrow. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, please. Let's write it down. It will be on our Facebook page. Please encourage everyone. Um, God bless us all. There are so many people inside and in all the overflows. Please maintain this space. Invite your friends. And we are here every day. You see what God is doing in people's lives. Give God one week of your life and let him change your story. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Our focus for tomorrow. Are you helping us, media? Oh, I think they are going. Okay. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Let's read together. One to read. It says, I will, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Our emphasis for tomorrow is going to be encounter with the spirit of revelation. Encounter with the spirit of revelation. Please, if you have one meeting to attend, let it be tomorrow's, tomorrow's prayer. Encounter with the spirit of revelation. Write the following scriptures down. And I'm giving it to us so that we'll go and study very seriously. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Daniel chapter 2 verse 9. Give us Daniel 2 verse 9. We'll still look at it tomorrow. Daniel 2 verse 9 is our anchor scripture for tomorrow. 19, I'm sorry. Did I say 9? 19. Daniel 2 19. Everybody read. One to read. There are secrets that men do business with upon this earth. There are divine secrets. The Bible calls them mysteries. This is the ministry of the spirit of revelation. Please, I'd like you tomorrow as you fast, cry unto God. And say, Lord, open my eyes. I'm tired of reading a storybook called the Bible. Show me the mysteries of my destiny. The Bible said Jesus found where it was written about him. You can find where it is written about you. He said, this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. One more scripture. Don't turn there. Ephesians chapter 1, 17 and 18. Paul cried and prayed that our hearts be flooded with light. And so we're going to be praying. Our focus tomorrow will be an encounter with the spirit of revelation. We'll be contending for illumination and access to the secret truths, the mysteries of the kingdom. We want to handle divine secrets and do mighty things. With Nothing just happens in this kingdom. You don't just succeed. You don't just move forward. There are secrets. If what you know is not bringing results in your life, it is nonsense. Listen, revelation is not knowing what God has said. Revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life. No matter what you claim God has said, if you cannot make it work in your life, it is not revelation. Hallelujah. So tomorrow, we are going to be praying. We appreciate everyone. There are so many people inside and outside. And um, I want to assure you, you hear the mighty testimonies, cancer has gone, and all of these miracles. You will begin to record miracles. Please make sure that we receive these testimonies. Don't keep quiet. The media is there. Pastor Alpha is here. David is here. Meet them. And um, you have the testimonies. Tomorrow, 8 o'clock, we're here. Please make sure when you come, just begin to pray. Worship will be playing and all of that. Let's come early so that we'll be able to finish. That's why we're trying to make sure that we finish by 10. Let's take a few announcements and we're out. Um, the wafers and communion. Many of you have been asking, where do I get my communion kit? Please, I hope that you are abiding by the instructions. Break every fast first with communion. 
break every fast. So if you don't have the communion kit, do we have it? Do they have? Okay, they don't have the samples. Jordan Bookstore. Jordan has a number. The communion wine and um, the wafers. You can get it. The wafers is very nice. Insects and um, and um, uh, the the all kinds of ground insects. They don't disturb it because it's not scented, right? So it's very very nice. It's something that you can keep. Make sure you have it. Don't just use it religiously. Worthy is the lamb. Not worthy is Jesus. Worthy is the lamb. It is that blood that gave access to all the things we are praying for. These seven days. Praise the Lord. So available at Jordan Bookstore. I think he probably brought some. After the grace, you'll be at the back. You can meet him. There's free but limited bus transport immediately after the service. Please note, everyone going to Shika and Congo, wait at the projector stand outside. Um, this is a special announcement. A phone boot space. A space for phone boot is available for sale at 90s Pepsi Garden. Interested persons should meet with the head of protocol and logistics. There is a space we're announcing it. Uh, I don't know how long the space will be available, but you are here, you are interested. We're already speaking. God is challenging you. I don't know how much. Uh, I, 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 well, you can discuss with the head of department. And if you're interested, you or your friends or whatever, you want to put a business inside school. Or wherever meet with the head of department immediately after the service protocol and logistics please don't come alone tomorrow make sure you invite people did you bring your prayer request please rise up with it that's the last thing we'll do before leaving in case you have not done it please i'd like you to do it you will come every day with it there are two requests you are supposed to write but just hold it i want to speak over it that's the instruction that the lord gave us I know many of us just write. You just have them in your notebook. No problem. Just open it. The Bible says, And Hezekiah presented it before the Lord. Presented it before the Lord. For those who are just catching up with us, the instruction is to have two prayer requests. Now, I know many of us just wrote it on one paper. Please, tomorrow go and separate it. We are burning one on Friday. Right? Right? One represents your expectation, all your positive expectations, the things you are trusting for God to do. The other one represents your challenges, everything that has mocked God in your life. You write it, I'm going to pray and speak over it now, and we'll be speaking over it every day. So once you come, just put it in your notebook or in your seat or on the floor, and just leave it there. Let this anointing soak upon it, and let's see the devil that will make that challenge remain in your life. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Please lift it up to God. Father, we are believers. You gave us an instruction and we are stupid enough to believe you. The Bible says Hezekiah lifted, he, 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 he made it plain and he said, God, reach down and see this threat. I'm praying in the name that is above all names. Everything you have written that represents your expectation according to philippians chapter 4 verse 16 the bible says we should make our request known i'm praying the angel that has been assigned from heaven to bring your results we activate their ministry right now we activate their ministry right now in the name of jesus christ everything you have written that you are trusting to happen in your life hear me no matter how impossible it is May the God that we serve do it for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for every challenge. God has turned aside the verdict of death in a man's life. God has turned aside all kinds of things. Whatever is in that list that has made you cry and has mocked God. People have looked at you and said, where is your God? I'm praying judgment. Let the sword of judgment land upon them this night. Say amen like a believer. Let the sword of judgment land upon them. My God and my King, we authorize by faith that you begin to move upon this request. Let the same hand that wrote upon stones write upon your destiny. Let the finger, listen, God wrote something in favor of Moses, but he wrote something judging Babylon. A finger appeared and wrote, Mene, Mene, Tekel, 
Ufesen. He said, if I by the finger of God cast out devil, may that finger start writing in the name of Jesus Christ. May that finger start writing upon your life. Between today and tomorrow, you will begin to return with answered prayers. One of the things the Lord told me is that this one week will be strange answers to prayers. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And for anything you forgot that must be in that paper, may the Spirit of God remind you. Listen, please, don't write some and leave some. If it's marriage, write it. If it's barrenness for your loved ones, write it. Please, I challenge you to call your loved ones and tell them, list it out for me. Just be foolish and do this thing. The kingdom requires a childlike heart. Hallelujah. So write it. I believe with all my spirit that there are still more things. Many of us have limited God. He said they limited him in the wilderness by saying, can God make a table? Can God make a table? So you go and stretch yourself. Because for as long as there was no more vessel, the oil stopped flowing. You can enlarge your tent and say, Lord, I believe you for more. Everything that has threatened you, if you can't lift it to God, who will you lift it to? My God, I pray. Behold the things that threaten those you died for. Behold the financial issues, marital issues, academic issues, job issues, health issues, oppression issues. Let the God that answers prayers visit this request. Let the God that answers prayers visit this request. The Bible says, unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. We turn it into testimonies. In the name of Jesus. God bless you and put it back. And if there's anyone here, you came with your communion kit or anything that is a point of contact for you, for your prayers. We bless it and we anoint it in the name of Jesus. We apologize sincerely for our inability to take communion today. We are supposed to be taking communion every day here. So expect that there will be communion and the Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. Our fasting continues. The official time is 4 o'clock. Please make sure that you break by 4 and you rest and then you are here. Praise the Lord. Let's rise up as we share the grace. After the grace, I'd like you to hug 20 people. Just tell them anything in your spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever.